I would think that one of the main benefits of the CRM track is the enhanced flexibility. So students have more flexibility in the CRM track than they do um, in probably any of the other tracks. And so it allows students to um, kind of pick and choose the direction they want to take. Their, um, their own contract and their own interests. And so I think it's really the broadness of the track that, that gives people the flexibility that's kind of attractive to a lot of students. So the contract uh, is very important in CRM because there are so many credits that students design. It's basically a contract between the student and the faculty mentor um, where the student says, you know, these are the classes that I want to take. Uh, for these reasons and they have to meet some requirements but as long as there's an agreement between the student and the faculty mentor um, generally that's great for whichever direction the student wants to take that so it's really it's an opportunity for students to tailor further tailor the track to their own interests and whether that's academic interests or career interests students are going to be looking at kind of technical or operational or managerial positions in resource management and conservation and what does that mean because that's kind of really broad too. So that could be anything from um, municipal level government to state government to federal government. Technical meaning kind of or technical or operational really means like on the ground doing the management work. So that's that's one thing. Um, of course as you go on in those types of careers, you would end up moving up to managerial positions, administrative positions, more planning. Um, but I think there's also opportunity in the private sector, um, consulting companies, uh, whether it's environmental impact statements, um, or even uh, these private companies now that implement management actions on the ground. Um, those would kind of be the entry level types of positions that CRM students would get. I think that um, you know, resource management is interesting because you are synthesizing the science and the policy. So you have the science side of things where you've got data and you have um, information that informs management actions. And then you get the policy side of things where you have to fit management actions into either existing regulations, public policy, or public perceptions. And resource management is kind of an integration of the two of those. So using those sources of information, how do you decide what to do, what the goals are, um, what the purpose of whatever management action you're doing to either conserve the resource or manage the resource. Um, and so I think that's a really exciting place to be in the intersection of those two things. The CRM track is the most flexible of all the tracks. So students going into it should um, be aware that they're gonna have a lot of responsibility for kind of planning out the direction they want to take it, that can be both a good thing and a challenging thing. So, you know, if, if students aren't quite sure um, what they want to do, sometimes it can be challenging, but at other times um, it can be a lot of freedom to explore different things they're interested in, broaden, um, you know, kind of the skills that they have for the job market. And so I think there's a lot of opportunity, but it goes both ways. And so that's, I think, the important thing for CRM students.